Hello, we're going to have a quick tutorial on differentiating from first principles, otherwise known as differentiating by using the definition of a derivative. I'm going to give you two examples. The first one is f of x equals x squared. Okay, I'll go pretty quickly, but you can always pause and replay different things. Here's our definition of a de derivative, a general formula. We're going to take our function and substitute in for f of x and f of x plus h. f of x is just x squared. f of x plus h is x plus h squared. Next step. Next step, multiplying the brackets out. There are the brackets multiplied out. Remember your middle term of your binomial. Next step, simplify. We've got x squared and minus x squared. Simplifies to that. Next step is dividing by h. 2x, h divided by h is 2x. h squared divided by h is h. Now we're going to apply the limit. Make h equal 0. 2x just stays the same, and this is plus 0, so the answer is 2x. Okay, now we can use that derivative to work out the gradient of the tangent and all sorts of other things. Next, we're going to do another example. Here is our derivative y equals x squared minus 3x plus 5. Using our definition, and this time, because it was y here, we write dy dx. doesn't really matter, but just makes it a bit easier. Again, substituting for f of x and x plus h. f of x is easy. Just write down the same thing. f of x plus h, replace all the x's with x plus h. x squared becomes x plus h squared. 3x becomes 3x plus h. Multiply out the brackets. These brackets here and these brackets here. There's the answer. Notice the minus signs. Minus 3 times x, minus 3 times h. Notice the minus signs here as well. Okay, next step is simplify. 5, 5, that cancels out. x squared, x squared, minus 3x, plus 3x. All that cancels out, leaving you with that. You see there's a h, a h squared, and a h. So now we can divide by h. 2x plus 2h minus 3. Okay, we're not dividing by h anymore. So and there's only h there. So we make h equal to 0, applying the limit, and there's our answer. 2x minus 3. That's the derivative. Okay, of course there's easier ways to do it, using the power rule, which we'll learn later. But from first principles, by using the definition, this is what you have to do. Alright, good luck.